Hello and welcome to the Viral Deep Dive. So with this class we will uh, teach you multiple aspects of hand tracking. But if it does a double pinch, a little sphere gets created. So we want to detect a double pinch. How to implement the locomotion system you will do with hand tracking. It's always relative to the center of, the, of your tracking space we will use to create that curve. Both directly with touching it with your fingers, physically build that you can interact with it and make it fully interactive and responsive. For example, we will start with like the hand UI to use pinching gesture to expand those parts dynamically. Dot product and how it works and what kind of value you can use to detect those events. So let's have a closer look at the actual implementation. Uh, we wanted to move on the z-axis, so we have to define it here. When I can grab one, so as you can see here, when they lie on the table or fully physics based, as soon as you grab them, you can even throw it in and it goes directly in. It's all automatic. Even if you hold an object now, you actually can still interact with the world. Different kind of joints, we will uh, go through them, all of them, and see where they can be used. That piece is defective. Put it in the trash can. Boom. Today is the deep dive with Tom. So we're gonna be specifically talking about the business uh, and future of hand interaction technology. Eyal Ofek, principal researcher at Microsoft is with us. Uh, we are excited to have you. Today, uh, we're very, very grateful for Chris, Hannah, and John to be on with us to give a little more of a deep dive uh, into some of the specific use cases. Can you use the haptics and the hand tracking to relax people and to calm them down and make it a, a pleasant environment to be when you're stuck in traffic. So. And what do I mean by fit the environment? We can look at different parameters such as the color. We can see that the screen might have information that I need there. We took that and built out our first multiplayer in the office at the time in Palo Alto, now we're in Mountain View. And we started saying, can we get two people in a space to share objects? And of course I need to display them in the language of the game because just showing that there was a sofa in the spaceship will break immersion. So that was really the aim of the demo, but also, yeah, to show the what hand tracking can do and how you can kind of have more of a spatial um, interaction. Fabric seems to have a hard time. As soon as we remove the restrictions, all of them react quite nicely. Very interesting little creatures. So that he can go to them, grab them, and then dynamically put them back in the trash can. You have the joystick to control the position of the robotic arm. You have a trigger to activate the pincher. Let's have a look at the hologram control system. Really uh, like fine control of the robot. Thank you guys for attending this class and we wish you all well for the future.